On a hot summer's day in Italy, nothing beats their granita. I love it. And in some cafes there in summer, you can find the granita topped with whipped cream. It is to die for. I'm going to show you my version using a mixture of mango, banana and pineapple. You can use any type of frozen fruit for this. So first up we need to make just a really quick sugar syrup. I've just got some water on the boil here. I'll add some sugar and into that I'll also add a good squeeze of lemon juice. Okay, just allow that to dissolve. So sugar syrup, you don't need to cook it down too much. And you can see that it comes up to the boil very quickly. And now we can turn the heat off. Now, usually when you're using a sugar syrup, you need to wait for it to cool down. But because I'm using a frozen fruit mix, we don't need to worry about waiting for that to chill down. So this packet can go straight into a food processor along with our sugar syrup. Just pour that over the top. Lid goes on and I'll give this a blend until it's really smooth. Okay, this is looking good, nice and smooth. And that's what we're after. I'm going to just remove this blade, just scrape that down. And this goes into a tin of your choice. The idea here though, is to get at least two to three centimetres thickness on the actual frozen granita. So just don't use a tin that's too big. This one is just right for 400 grams. Okay, we're going to spread that out so it's quite smooth. And this goes into the freezer and we have to be patient now. We want it to just freeze until it's completely hard. Granita is out of the freezer and we're just going to let it sit there for a moment while we make our cream. So into a bowl, some cold thickened cream for this. We'll add a generous amount and to sweeten it up, some caster sugar or you can use some icing sugar. And one vanilla bean for this. You could also use vanilla paste or vanilla extract depending on what you have. And for a vanilla bean, you just want to place it onto your board and just cut straight down the centre and we want to scrape out those seeds. And as always, never throw out your vanilla beans because there's still so much flavour in it. You can pop them into an oven, like a sort of a low oven and cook them for, you know, 40 minutes or so and then blend them with some sugar. Absolutely delicious. You've made yourself some vanilla sugar. So now what I'm doing is just giving this a really good whisk we want this to be stiff peaks. Okay, this cream is perfect. See how it sits up proudly onto the whisk? You know it is ready. So I've got a chilled latte glass here and for the granita in true form, it needs to look like fluffy ice. So just grab a fork and what you wanna do is just grate the top of it. So, you know, it takes a bit of effort, but it's worth it for the texture of it. And just smelling this, I can smell the banana, the mango, the pineapple. All right, that should do it. We'll just scoop that up. Look at that fluffiness. And then grab a spoon and top it with our beautiful cream. So a generous scoop of that on top and that is a true delight to eat. It's refreshing, it's creamy. I'm going to have a mouthful because I just can't resist. A little cream and a lot of that granita. That combo. Mm. Close your eyes and automatically you're transported to Rome on a hot summer's day.